of Sepang in round three. It was the man from Bahrain, Ahmed Al Faden. Stolen a march on the rest of the field. More experienced rivals like the likes of Karim Chandok are out for revenge. And they want it quickly. And they head back once again to Sepang in Malaysia for round four of Formula V6 Asia Championship of 2006. Welcome once again to Sepang. Wet conditions greeted round three. Hamid Al Faden loves racing in the wet, but he had Karun Chandok, who's pretty fast in the wet himself from India. Karun knew that right from the start he would have to get to try and get away. Matt Halliday in a fight with Hans Lin. And muscled out of the way, the man from Chinese Taipei. Michael Ho spinning out in the conditions at Sepang, part of the GT Japan Championship. Weekend. He was talking to Karim Chandok and he says there's a lot of rubber out there, but not a lot of grip. Round four about to get away. The lights go out and watch out for Seth Ingham in second place. But look at Karim Chandok trying around the outside. Hamid Al Farden's really gonna have to defend. Here comes Karim Chandok around the outside. That was his tactic in round three. He's very, very good around the outside. Jeffrey Lee still going on in ninth position. Jeffrey Lee not yet complete the proper race yet. We'll be looking for a decent result from this one. Dennis Leanne in trouble from Hans Lin. Side by side down the front straight. Hans Lin looking to try and get past. Oh, and that's Hans Lin having problems again. He was chasing Dennis Leanne. Oh, Spanned into the back of him as he did into the floor. Well, said Jeffrey Lee of Chinese Taipei wasn't having too many finishes. It doesn't look as though he's going to finish this one. He does get back on track, but that can't finish. Now, red flag means they'll all form up in single file. They'll be able to adjust the car slightly, and then we'll be away again. Father, of course, to Karun, just talking to the organisers about the procedures. They've stopped at the moment. Let's talk to Matt Halliday. It's very hot, obviously, but, uh, you know, we're looking OK. Oh, we come from seventh, so now it should be just stay in the front, yeah? So then, after the break, we'll be away again for some more racing from round four. There's no one to blame but Hans Lin for that one. Hans knees and bumpsy daisy, literally. The Hans device, not named after him. Maybe he should have been. But the Hans safety device, which protects the drivers, once again working well as Hans Lin Po Hank of Chinese Taipei is walked away by one of the marshals for another big heavy incident. But he's taken De Dennis Lian out this time. He took Ananda Mikola out last time. Well, in round one and then winning round two. It has to be said, he was helped on the way. A 
as round two got off to a bang when Ingham narrowly avoided this incident. Adelaide Fong in the Champ Motorsport car causing a huge shunt and taking out title favourite Marchi Lee. That has thrown everything up in the air as they head towards round three and four. Welcome to Sepang! That's right, welcome back to Sepang International Circuit for rounds three and four of the Formula V6 Asia Series for 2007. This week we return to the heart of motorsport in Asia, to Malaysia and the capital Kuala Lumpur. Just south of that capital and right next door to the International Airport is conveniently placed the Sepang International Circuit known for its annual round of the Formula One Grand Prix. A huge state-of-the-art facility, the track itself is over five kilometers long. Yet the V6 cars still covering in less than two minutes. Last year, Karun Chandok took the pole position of 158.324 on the fastest lap, 2 minutes, 3.74. Other winners include Anna Mikla, Hamid Al Farden and Matt Halliday. It's a wonderful venue for AFOS. Hosting such a strong weekend of racing, the fans are here in their throngs. Let's take a look at the highlights of what happened in round two. Takes the checkered flag. 17 laps is all it took. No problems for him. He never looked back. 